Glide bombs are in War Thunder with the Chinese tech tree, right? We are here with the JF-17, testing them out in a custom battle. And I noticed something, guys, that these things, they have an incredible amount of range. Like, you have no idea how much. So, we're gonna try to test it out to see how much we can actually have of range with these things. So, we... Locked on to a target there, and we're not gonna touch anything, that's the main thing, because the limitation of the range is actually the actual pod. The pod doesn't have a lot of range to lock it up, you know, so you have to be like 16 kilometers from the target to actually lock a target, uh, or to lock a point a little bit more, but it's, it's not past 20 kilometers. But you can hit targets that are beyond that if you lock it up, and you forget about it. Don't go into the view of the like of the tracking system or anything like that. And then you just point the GBUs to the target and you drop them, okay? So we're going to try to do a test over here from a very, very far distance. Which will be... Uh, I'm going to try to like 50 kilometers. But I think it has even more range than that. We can test it out later, right? But the thing is... Of course, they don't guide themselves to the target itself, they guide uh, themselves to a point in space, right? So sometimes it is a little bit problematic in the way that it works, right? But um, because targets m move around and stuff, but it's fine, okay? It's fine. We're gonna be able to do this. Trust me. I tested, I think. Let's see. But yeah, guys, um, it's funny that the first... Uh, glide bombs are only for China. I wish we had other bombs like this for other nations. A lot of nations use these types of bombs. Um, but yeah, the problem is that how could you even actually use a bomb at 50 kilometers? I don't know. It's not useful, but it's fun to actually test around, right? So we're gonna we're gonna turn around. As you see, the point is there, 50 kilometers. And you will see that the CCRP and CIP, they're, they're gonna show stuff that are different, okay? You have to not trust that. Yeah, see, the GBU already has the point. So we can just... Hold up. For some reason, everything was bugged. But yeah, we're gonna drop the bomb. And we're gonna drop... Um, all bombs we're gonna drop the the 500 as well because i think the 500 has a little bit more range on it um because of the weight so 45 kilometer shot let's see i'm gonna maintain here and then we gotta wait a long time until our beloved bombs do their job of flying around with their little wings until it reaches the target, but yeah, guys, of course, I have to be flying very high to this to work. Um, again, you the problem with this is that you gotta have a point targeted um, from up close because the targeting pod just doesn't have the range to actually look at for a target from a 50 kilometer distance, right? So you gotta choose your target before and then afterwards you just drop the bomb. So let's see if we can actually make it have the, the 50 kilometers of range. Of course, as fast, um, if you drop the bomb as fast as you can, it does help. Uh, see, the 250 is right there. Um, yeah, the, the 500 has, of course, more weight to it, and with gravity, uh, it will mean, and no propulsion, it will mean that uh, it actually can go further away a little bit, um, because it's using the acceleration of gravity a little bit more. Not that it can go, it's it's not really there. It's it's more like it can go faster. You will reach the target faster. It's not I think th there is a gra like a, a drag coefficient calculation and stuff that I learned in, in college that um, more weight doesn't mean more distance in a glide path, but it does mean more speed. So um, even to like maintain the thing flying, right? It's funny because it's it's kind of rolling a little bit. But yeah, it's going. It's gonna take a while, boys. So, yeah, we gotta wait. We gotta wait for it. While we do that, we're gonna keep flying even further away to try to... I don't know, maybe... I don't know, like, just fly really, really far away. Try to go to, like, what? Maybe 60, 70 kilometers? I don't know. I just hope this thing doesn't 
self-explode in the air because he doesn't have a battery anymore. Which might be a thing that will limit. Because it's like two minutes already. But it's getting there. It will have the energy. So let's just hope it has the battery for it. 12 kilometers, boys. It's coming in quite fast, actually. Come on, the, the match is gonna be over before the bombs hit the target. Come on, bomb! Wrap it up really quickly. Yeah, it's going, it's going. Now it's gonna dive down. For sure. Come on, baby, dive down. You can look at the amount of energy that this bomb has. Like, it's so. It, it can go even further. It can go. Oh my god, it just dove down really quickly. So it can have a, a massive amount of energy. I mean, it could go like, I don't know, 100 kilometers. And it's going for the target. I don't know if I aimed correctly. And yeah. There we go, boys. Yeah, look at all the bombs. This was a 45 to 50 kilometer shot. Yeah, see how the 250 just got there uh, in a, a little bit of a slower time. So this is crazy, man. It really is. I mean, it has so much range. So much range that it's not even a joke. I don't even know how much, how many kilometers we are f like from the targets. So you can do... You just go to the, the the base over here and automatic, no it's not automatic, how it's called? Bomb, uh, automatic, switch mission, bombing target. You, you add a button to this and you can basically just choose it, like uh, a place that has a base on it. Uh, and it's just going to be like, it doesn't matter, right? It will just like be the furthest one or whatever. It will just be a point in space, right? So this one, I don't know, what is this, 10 kilometers? If this is 10 kilometers, it will be what, 20, 30, 40 something kilometers? But I don't know, let me check. Yeah, it's it's probably around there, right? I don't know, it might be even more. I have no idea how much, how further away I am. But I'm gonna climb and try to drop the bomb from as further away as I can. And try to see if it can actually do anything. Um, this will be the ultimate test and it will take a long time to get there more than five ten minutes Maybe so I'm gonna get there first like to this place get a little bit of speed get the uh, altitude and stuff And then we can drop the bombs It's even disappearing. I don't know <laughs> look at that like It's disappearing if I zoom in it just disappears So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try this. This is a cruise missile now. And yeah, we're gonna try to hit a target that it's so far away that no AA system or jet or interceptor or anything would be able to actually hit us. Again, we're gonna go to the to there and I still I'm twelve thousand meters, but I really want to get to like fifteen if I can. I don't know if this aircraft will be able to before it stalls because of the weight, but Probably not, like probably 13 is the max. I need to get a little bit more speed as well, wait. I mean, we cannot go as f like f fast as in this, so I'm gonna just try it. It's just like, it's 70 kilometers or something. It's really, really far away, man. It really is. I, I don't, I have no clue how much. It probably is like 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. It's probably like around 65 to 70 kilometers. And a bomb is actually you know doing something like it's actually locking into the target just gonna get a little bit of speed this is more than that it's probably a like a hundred kilometers I don't know let's try to detect these targets yeah I mean look at this this target there it's a 63 so and he's like right here this is like a hundred kilometers There we go. And now, where's the bomb? Okay. We're gonna drop it. Go, little babies. This is so cool. Now we wait, boys. I'm gonna get back. I mean, I'm, 
I don't have anything to talk about it for 10 minutes while the bombs fly to there, so I'll be right back. So yeah guys, the test failed, the bomb just stalled it out and it's going down, so yeah, I could have gone a little bit further, you know, I could have gone maybe with a little bit more speed or more altitude, but I guess like 60 to 70 kilometers might be the max you can do, maybe a little bit more, but I mean, it depends very much on many things, you know. Um, but yeah, the bombs all dropped to the ground and the test has failed. But again, I did a test at 50 kilometers and it worked. 60 kil that was probably around 60, 60 something kilometers. I was checking the map and stuff and checking it out. I launched from like right here somewhere and then it dropped like right here or like right here, somewhere around here. This is like around 50 to 60, maybe a little bit more kilometers. Uh, it's like 63 or something, 61, something like that. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't expect this bomb to go further than that. But, like, do you even need to go further than that? It's already 60 kilometers, right? So, it's kind of crazy. Go out there, test it out to see. It's funny. Uh, oh, I mean, yeah, it's not really useful, is it? But uh, it is still pretty fun to have a glide bomb that can go 60 kilometers away from your aircraft, right? So yeah guys, I see you guys on the next one, make sure to subscribe, and bye, see ya.